today I'll be talking about Trafalgar Square. It is located in London. Um, how many of you have seen the recent Harry Potter movie of uh, the Half-Blood Prince? Okay, did you see in the very beginning when the Dark Lords are flying through the city? Mm -hmm. and, this, and you see like this huge tower with the, with the statue on the very top, you're like, what is that? And then they, like, they fly by real quick. Well, that, that is Trafalgar Square. That is a live webcam of Trafalgar Square right now. What you saw in the movie was that statue right there. That huge tall right there. And in the back, that's the uh, National Gallery. The statue of Nelson is right here. It's all around right here. And as you can see, the buses and all that stuff, and the fountains. that fly? Mm -hmm. You feel like we're right there. Today, well, every year in Trafalgar is the center of mm -hmm. the, like the, uh, that's a picture from the very top. Um, every year Trafalgar is the center of a tourist attraction. It's like one of the main attractions there in London. Um, there's that huge tower house so far. And, um, Um, this past summer was the FIFA World Cup. I don't know if you all watched it. Of course you did. And um, in London, in England, actually, it's like a religion. Football, and they, as they call it over there, like a religion over there. And they had two huge teddies, as they call them over there, like the size of the whole room. They had two of them up. One right here, and one over here, and you just saw a lot of people right there watching the the um, the football the football game. And um, loads of people were there, and a lot of traffic. And it sucks for the traffic because they had to go all around to go across it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the famous statues, as you can see, is uh, Nelson's Column, which was, which was designed by William Relton in honor of Ad Admiral Nelson. Not there right now. But in front of the line, there's a he's on a horse with the, his hat, and he's on the horse like a horse is like this, and he's like this. And uh, the fountains, which are those, and you can't really see it, but below that are dol are dolphins. You can barely see it right there. Are dolphins surrounded by it? And that fountain was uh, added in 1845, so it's a long, long time ago. And, um, and but the funniest statue there is the police ox, which is the smallest of its kind. <laughs> <laughs> it's the smallest of its kind there in, in London and around the UK. I mean, you think that the police are as they call them over there, Corys, they're, they're huge and to put them to fit in that thing. <laughs> what it's used nowadays is uh, inside they have brooms and stuff like that and with trash cans just to clean up the, the square. Mm -hmm. And uh, the biggest building, well, it's like a monument, is the National Gallery, which is behind it. In that, in that gallery, it's free, free admission, to go, yay. and it's open year-round, and they have a famous uh, portraits, and like the Mona Lisa, one of the copies of the Mona Lisa is in there, but the the actual Mona Lisa is at Paris, at the Mall. That's what they call it. And Trafalgar Square is basically a uh, movie star because it's been a movie set for Harry Potter, of course, Law and Order UK, Doctor Who, and even a music. It's been in a music video by Libra. So when you see a Trafalgar Square in a, in a movie or or a yeah, movie. Uh, I mean, video, music video, you'll know where the, where it was actually taking place. Oh, my favorite. Doctor Who is an awesome show. You should watch it. It's on BBC America. If you have a uh, Time Warner, it's on Channel 459. <laughs> 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 I, de I definitely recommend it. Also, you've got the UK's in it, too. And, uh, 
Now that I've discussed the, the history of Trafalgar Square, you can, I can come to a smashing conclusion that today um, Trafalgar, history is to it, it is boring, but it's one of the main, um, main attractions that tourists go to. And <coughs> it's one of the must-see uh, attractions there. And I really like to thank uh, my UK friends, I have friends in the UK who have ta told me all about it. And, it, and I felt like I have actually been there already. So, yeah, thank you. 